How's it going dudes and welcome to how to successfully fail Demon's Crest. Heard a lot of good shit. I didn't play it back in the day, but I've heard a lot of good shit about Demon's Crest. V excuse me, menu. It well, that's stage one, so that's alright, but fucking hell. Here we go. Game looks sweet as fuck. Sounds awesome as well as a tune on stage one, man. Very, very good. And you know it's a damn good game when there's a fucking zombie dragon right at the beginning. Demon zombie dragon. Or is it a zombie demon dragon? It'd be a zombie demon dragon, wouldn't it, yeah? Technicalities, they're important. Look at that, you know it's gonna be a good game. Boss fight straight away, you don't even know controls yet. <laughs> I do though, similar though I was um, doing a test run. Check this cheap shit out as well. Wait, 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 not that, not that. When he wants to stop. Um, what is. Here we go. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm gonna show you later. You can seriously hit the fuck out of him. There's like no recovery, no invulnerability. That's it. So on the um, stage one boss, you just pagger him, get right in his face, and just mash the fucking button. Rex might be able to do it on this guy when he comes through a wall. I'm sorry, I'm spoiling him. <laughs> I've only played first stage. Swear to God, only first stage. And, um, it is right now, yeah. Not much of a spoiler. Ten seconds in the future. But yeah, I'm well surprised when there's no um, invulnerability on hit. For them. I mean, even he got cheesed a bit, but I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. It's cool as fuck, though. You can't crouch and shoot. You can't aim and shoot. Just left and right. I tell you, man, it sounds and looks like some kind of hybrid between Castlevania and Ghouls and Ghosts. This tune. It's fucking sweet as this thing when it kicks in. But look at it, man. It's like Ghouls and Ghosts and Symphony... Not Symphony Night, but, you know, like Super Castlevania and shit. Old school Gargoyles Quest kind of latch onto the wall as well. That is awesome. So you shoot left and right. You can latch onto shit and shoot in that direction. You've got your jump. And you press it again. Flight mode. Very good. I don't know if I'm supposed to be destroying all of these or not, but fuck it, let's do it. Hey, like I say, it's a cool fucking shoot, man. Like, Ghouls and Ghosts and Gargoyles Quest and Castlevania. Very fitting. Got background as well, like, what the fuck is that? Like, is it a statue? Is it some other kind of fucking dragon in the background? What's he doing? Fuck all. Get out of here, ghosts. But yes, um, it, it's nice to be playing as a fucking Arama rather than against him. Oh, shit. Other than my mistake just then, he is entirely boss. It's nice to be on the fucking power, like, compared to Arthur, Arama is sick as all fuck. I was watching the intro story as well. I'll, I'll talk about it in a bit. Oh, yeah. Gotta wake him up. Get a job! Check this out. Oh, my! That definitely happened. And if I remember correctly from... Oh, no, no mind. You know what? It doesn't actually matter. Look at that damage! I mean... I'm assuming it's damaging him, but if not, it's a blag. But if it is damaging him, it's also quite blagging for him. Right, wait for it. It's gonna get nasty. <laughs> so much fucking damage. Look, it's got back into fucking stone form. He's trying to heal up. Get the fuck out of that. It's gonna happen. You know what? It's so satisfying. Nah. Um. Aggressive gestures. How's that for an aggressive gesture? Get fucked. Thank Christ Aram hasn't figured that out in Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins and shit, man. Get smashed. 
It's like extra insult when you kill a fucking gargoyle by um, destroying it when it's in stone form. Oh yeah, yeah. In there's something weird with like, yeah, different um, different powers and shit as well. So, a little bit of Mega Man X in there, a little bit of Mega Man X, a little bit of um, Castlevania, a little bit of Ghouls and Ghosts. <laughs> Use Gargoyle's quest and Ghouls and Ghosts characters, why not? Do 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 do. It is a fucking tune, man. Check out some remixes on um, YouTube, very good. Ow. I fucked myself, Anna. No, I ain't. Jump again. Do it. Fine. Oh. Nice shot. Give him that. Nice shot. Too high. Well, he might be able to hit you, but he's not very smart. He won't turn around. Oh! <laughs> Come on, what? You know what, Wasp Spider? Fuck you. We're off. And you as well. Oh, I want, I want the gooder. Fuck! There. Well, is that health? Seems like that's health. Don't know what the fuck that shit does. I mean, it seems to go into your inventory, but... Oh, it's equipped now. I... I, I don't know where it does. It's up there. Don't know where it does, though. L and R, nope. Shoot, jump. Smash shit. Fuck knows, man. Fuck knows. Maybe she'll explain it later, or... Um... I'll figure it out one way or other. But your classic 16-bit era platforming and shit like that. I saw it a few times back in the day, but never picked up a copper. It was my mistake, because, um, yeah, this seems entirely on the level. Anything over that? Nope. And this is where I got up to, I believe. There is a boss. It's even got a Mega Man kind of like scream movement at boss. Shot of the door. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the the one to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Armor. I will be your executioner. Oh, very polite. Introduced himself. I think I introduced myself as well. Oh, fuck! Well, now. Clever bastard. That's some good evasion shit. Ah, this guy's a bit clever. Hey. What? What are you deciding to do? Okay. Yeah. You're like fucking adding up there, don't you? Oh, fuck me, I jumped right into it. What an idiot. What you. No, now, 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 fireballs and shit. Yeah, you can only have one projectile on screen at once, but if you hit somebody with it or send it off screen. Oh! Well, won it and I'm dead. Get out. Oh, look, I like how you take a big fucking stride with that. Get down here. No fireballs. Calm down. Calm down further. No, don't go up. Oh my god, what a shot! Fucking prediction! Oh, see how Arima dies, man? He gets fucking wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Flesh melts off, fucking bones fucking crumble and shit. It's nasty shit. It's not fun to die if you're a gargoyle. First boss! He is, um... Probably quite easy in the grand scheme of things, but at the moment, not that easy. Oh yeah, when I was, um... Come on, spider. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know how you get in there. Come on, now! You are a fuck, sir. There we go. If you stand on them, it disintegrates them. But I don't know how you... I do not know how you get in there. Can't seem to smash anything. 
We're reeling all that shit doesn't seem to do anything. Nice of it. But yeah, I don't know how you get in there. Fuck it. Oh! Well, let's try to get rid of this one as well. Do anything? No, it's just resetting, isn't it? Come on, attach to it. Go on. Nice. Right, let's not get fucked by the boss again, eh? Made no promises, like. <laughs> we shall try. Is he gonna talk again? Ah, no, good game design. I mean, look how much damage you'd fucking do him. Like, there's a lot of games where that would have killed him in that amount of hits. Hey, down here. Stand underneath him, what's he do? Lowers quite a bit, but then charges me. We're a dick. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. So you can do a really long swoop, or a, as long or short as he wants, pretty much. Go on, shoot me there. No? What a dick. Shooting off screen? Thank fuck he's got no aim. Duh, even. I tried to crouch, you can't crouch. Gaggles don't crouch. These fucking swoops. If he does it again, I'm going to shoot him in his fucking face. There we go. Get off! Oh. Fucking cornered me. There must be a pattern to, like, bait him into what you want him to do. Ooh, you little shit. Oh, it's fucking hitboxes! Hitboxes! Definitely need salt in there. Nah, they're not. I'm sure it was fine. Oh, okay. Well, thank fuck one of us died. Next up. Whoop, 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 whoop. I love that old SNES sound effect. Good shit. You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about, I assume. About, yes. I look forward to our next encounter. Fucking badass gargoyle. Hey, just... Straight up dropped a fucking... You found the crest of Earth. With it, you can morph into G-Gargoyle and gain great speed. And the strength to break stone statues. Fair enough. Yeah, it's a bit like Mega Man X as well, isn't it? Crazy. Holy shit, mode 7. What's this? What, what? Where am I supposed to... Straight up fucking secret of mana? Fucking over map? What, what, what? I guess I pressed the right button. What's this? Alright, fella. 31 gold pieces, I'm assuming that's the same. It's been a long time since a customer has visited my shop. Welcome to the shop of... Trio the Paga. Pega? Fuck knows. We specialise in gaining... Sorry, in gaming for demons. What? Like fucking Oculus Rift, but adjusted for a gargoyle Z. What? This is level one. And it's easy. The entrance fee is five gold pieces. You seem to be very good at headbutts. I invite you to test your skill in my humble shop. Fuck it, yeah, let's go. Thank you. Are you familiar with the rules? I am not familiar with the rules. So I can't follow them. It's child's play. Destroy as many skulls as you can as they come out of the holes in the wall. You have time until all the torches fade out. If you destroy 12 skulls within the time limit, I'll give you 5 gold pieces for each remaining torch. That, is that clear enough? Yes, that is clear enough. Get ready. Um. Oh. So wait a minute. Oh. So you gotta time that right? Fuck. Right, here we go. You gotta press it a little bit earlier than you'd expect. I, I, do, 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 do. It, 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 fuck, that's, that was terrible, but the rest of it's harder than it looks, man. Seriously. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, shush! Oh, fuck. It looks like you need more practice. <laughs> yes. Yes, we can both agree. More practice is required. Later. 
So wait, you've got this fucking weird world map. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm gonna just try this town. Fuck! You don't piss about when he zooms in. You don't care where he's going. Into drink, into town. You don't give a fuck. So is this an actual level or are we in some Castlevanian kind of town? All right, fella. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you a stranger here? I guess I am. They say that the red demon known as Firebrand has risen. He nearly burnt the demon realm to ashes years ago. If Phalanx had not rescued us, we would all be dead thanks to that arrogant fool Firebrand. Take care of yourself. This is Firebrand. Oh, fuck. I wonder what it says if I say no. Oops. Did you hear that the red demon Firebrand escaped from the Colosseum? I heard that General Armour is hunting him down. So is General... that General Armour like the first boss? Is he, um... A bit like... Fuck, I knew his name until I had to say it. There's, um... Ah, oh, what's his fucking name? Mega Man X is like a... Vile. Yes, a purple... Maverick. Yeah, Vile's his name. It's kind of like Vile shows up here and there, maybe. I don't know, there's, there's definitely some... It's not straight up Mega Man X, and it's certainly not straight up fucking Ghouls and Ghosts. Quite different. But definitely some similarities. Hey, what was this now? What? The? Like, I... Like, I... Pff, like, I could know. Is this a stage or not? Make up your mind. What? Sp fucking war on me. I'm a fucking... Fi I'm a fucking fire gargoyle. I don't give a shit about people spitting war. Well, it seems like a strong adversary. What proper ghost now? Not blankets falling from the fucking trees and shit. Well, oh, fuck, I thought I could stand on that. What the fuck? Ghosts take more than one hit. They've got a cool death animation though. Let me guess, you respawn. No, they didn't. Okay. Oh, no, you didn't. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get used to, you can double fire when you go into summit. If you're going to be point blank summit, shotgun that motherfucker. More bullets. They're just going to keep coming out of the ghosts. That's what ghosts do. Get out of here, merman. A little bit slow down there. Is this- am I, am I on the right stage here? Or am I just fucking- Struggling through a fucking town. Hey, are you to fuck? He doesn't seem to notice me. Man, I was, that was actually a pretty good shot there, not bad. But yeah, in case um, you don't know much about ghouls and, go uh, ghouls and ghosts and ghosts and goblins lore and shit like that and firebrand, etc. You know, there's demons that like red armors and other shit like that. And uh, there's a named one from the Gargoyles quest games called Firebrand. It's actually the third in the series of... Uh, there's Gargoyles Quest 1 for the Game Boy, I believe. Gargoyles Quest 2 for the NES. That flight mode's awesome. And then there's Demon's Quest. Fuck. For the um, SNES. And like I said, the named dude is Firebrand. And apparently in Demon's Quest, according to the intro- I- it's a, it's a fucking shallow angle. Give me self-credit. Slap even. Oh, I see. From behind her. That's my favourite. Yeah. Yeah, apparently in this, Firebrand's just been kicking the absolute fuck out of the entire demon realm. Which makes sense. He is a fucking Arama. They do seem to like doing shit like that. Kicking the absolute fuck out of the entire demon realm, cause civil war and shit. He's collected all of these crests. Fire crest, water crest, earth crest, summer else crest. Fire, water, earth, and summer else. Usual shit. And um, there's one left. And he goes and fights this demon dragon. The one at the beginning of the game that's got the heaven crest or some shit. Um, sorts it all out, you know, kicks shit out at demon dragon. And then gets ganked by this other demon. And all the crests stolen. And a bit like fucking... Metroid and Symphonic Knight, you get all this shit. Oh, that is a cool fucking sci fi I'm skeleton guy. I am not of the correct. Fuck! Was I on low health there? What do you mean, retry? Go on, man. 
Did that really fucking hurt from landing on his scythe or was I on low health? I'm not sure. But goddamn. But yeah, that's the story in a nutshell. I'm uh, kicking the fuck out of absolutely everybody. Gets ganked. Gets all his powers nicked. Very Symphony Night Metroid kind of style. And then it's game starts with armor royally fucked off. Where my crests at? Are you fucking grab me? <laughs> Toughest zombie arms, Jesus, just being underground making fucking harder or something. Whoa, you see the reach on that shit? That's fucking Dalsim. Undead Dalsim underground. It's Capcom. It could actually be. You don't know. Right, so this cool badass motherfucker apparently hurts like a bitch. I'm assuming all the gubbins inside him, yeah. Going, oh fuck! Yeah, that seemed to it. To, it's not just gonna jump or something, is it? It takes two every hit. <laughs> oh, what a boss! He killed me by raising his hand. Fuck. Is he a pimp? Because just the threat of him raising his hand to me did serious damage. Oh, that's an angle. Oof! And yeah, he seems to do two gems, orbs, spheres of damage. That is a trick. He can throw his skull high to the point it goes on the other platform. Boss runs. I'd heard the game was fairly challenging. So, bring it the fuck on. Does seem to be a fairly decent challenge so far. You can get wrecked through stages if you're not paying attention. And this guy hits you fucking twice. Well. 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 I just realised something, and you might have been shouting at me for the last ten minutes. I've got a different ability that I've completely neglected. Whoops. There we go, what's this? Holy fuck! That's some serious fucking roids. He, he just got fucking swole really fucking quick. Oh, they don't hurt you, just annoy you. Damn, that thing fucking hurts. So in the air, it goes pretty straight, but on the ground, it's kind of like a... SNK fireball, pretty much. Can he still latch? He can. Oh, it looks like a badass up wall. Look at him, he's ready. Ready as fuck. Get off me. Don't do it, Skull. We have an agreement. Let's try this on the boss. I don't think it's going to work well, but maybe it gives me more toughness. Is it, I didn't try my other abilities. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. His icon up there looks like he's got some kind of charge, so I wonder if he does. What, 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 what the fuck is that? Oh. Some form of invulnerability. What? Holy shit. Hands down. Well played. That guy has the nastiest fucking scythe in a video game that I've ever fucking come across. You've got like, what? What's up there? Like two, four, six of these fucking... Let's just call it health. I've got... I've got you bitch! Get, get off of me! You got like six fucking life. Oh, thank you. You got six life and that guy hits you for two life. Every fucking hit. That's pretty fucking nasty. You know what, even though um, the fire crest seems to obviously like be able to fly and just skip the entire stage almost, you don't really get to. It's quite well balanced. Seem to go almost as fast on the ground. But yes, no extra damage resistance. Got some kind of mad charge though. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can kind of... You gotta be careful that scythe, man. <laughs> right, no. Maybe I'm doing something wrong there, I'm not sure, but when he corners me, I am kind of fucked with the um, crest power. Well. Ground gargoyle, yes. He doesn't see... Menus! This is the correct one, right. But yet the stage seems so much easier. With, um... Gr fucking... Whoa, we charged! What's this fucking... We've got Dark Souls shit going off where enemies are going to decide what to do randomly. 
You killed your hundredth skeleton, and then all of a sudden it does something completely random you've never seen. Is it? Is this how it's gonna go? I'm not fucking watching. I'm fucking watching for that shit now. I'm also watching for the world record in fastest death to this scythe skeleton. Clearly, the game is much harder than I ever expected. I'm not coming anywhere. What? What? He's got fucking new shit. He's just gonna raise it up and attack me now. I'm getting this suspicion it wants you to cross over him as much as possible. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting that feeling. I thought he was going to be dead. There he is. Right, safety. Well. So I mean, pretty good level design. They stopped you from just flying over the fucking... Whoop. Flying over the stage. Right. Fucking hell. This second boss is fucking harder than most fucking final bosses. I mean, I'm sure he's, once again, his fucking shit is going to be alright, like, but my god. Yeah, here we go. Oh. What? I don't. I, did he telegraph that? I didn't. I had no idea he was gonna jump. I thought everything was going well for the most part. I'm sure he even got hit, and it didn't take two life of me. Only one. Well, look at that angry bitch. The the program correctly as well to stop you. You think you'd be able to just fly underneath him and they go nope. Fucking fly mode on fly mode off feels like fucking Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> Start doing Doctor Doom infinites here. Right you bitch, you might be fucking cool but I didn't even think this was a fucking stage to begin with, I thought it was a fucking town. Oh! Right, no he just fucking leaps all he wants. Oh. I, I knew it. I knew it. Man, that is a devious boss, man. The weapon has a fucking hitbox on it. Well, hurtbox, let's call it, but what, you know what I mean. Uh, that is pretty fucking nasty, and he sticks out a mile. I don't know, it's just weird seeing a boss actually make sense and use his equipment properly. That is good stuff, man. Very good. Ooh, that's a shortcut. You know, he's pretty slow, but he fucking hurts, and he's got decent reach, and he's actually using the fucking reach. Good stuff, good stuff. What? Fucking strider attacks? It's just gonna, it's just gonna do some nasty shit, I knew it. Once he corners you, you need to get the fuck out of there. Ah, uh, and dodge that shit. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, once it, it, yeah, that's that's his blag. It tries to back up. Oh, 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 oh! Right, no, 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 no more, no fucking more. Right, we got him, we got him. I saw it. Dying. Yeah, good shit, good shit. I mean, I'm assuming there must be a way of doing it with a ground gargoyle, but yeah, fuck that. I think... You are a dick. Get off me. Yeah. I think I've sussed it. Fucking sussed it? Second boss? And I'm sure the first boss wasn't even really a boss. It just... Hello and welcome to the game. Capcom greets you, now get wrecked. Shit. Ah, oh, I knew it, I needed to get fucking- Too late? Oh, wrecked. This- this does not count, by the way. This was not what I was talking about.
Don't know him, is it? Yeah, I, don't, I keep thinking he swipes after he jumps, he don't. So he's gonna follow you into corner. He's gonna follow you into corner, and while he's backing up or going forward, you need to fucking get over him and get to the side. That's fucking tight. Like, either I've got it so fucking wrong, and I'm not quite sure what it'd be on that exactly, but either I've got it so fucking wrong and making it ten times harder, or. He just needs a bit of fucking practice. But for a second. second boss? I'm actually impressed. I'm actually impressed. That's good shit, man. You've got the tools. You can take free hits before going down. Like, what do you want? And Chris, how many hits he fucking takes? You can't get close to him and, like, proper. Look, that's what happens when you try to do that. He's gonna swing. No, he's not. Oh, he's gonna raise it. Nope. That might hit me, you know, so I'll get up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop that shit. Whoa! I dropped right onto it like a fool. He's gonna raise it right into me, innit? I knew it! That didn't even require any foresight whatsoever. Damn, he's a bastard. I'm gonna get some serious fu well, it's fucking Demon's Crest, more like Demon's Souls. Fuck. Not bad, man, not bad, seriously. Or, or I'm just fucking sucking it up, one or the other, man, but... You tell me that's fucking easy, three, three mistakes, you're fucked. And just flying over him is not free, I worry every single fucking time. Seems like I can avoid his, like, you know, come over here shit. Like, fuck that. And that's not too bad. Just go careful, don't rip that. Yeah, you don't want to stay there. I thought so. E lucky. Very lucky. He's going to raise it on me. He's going to raise it on me. Oh, turn him. Yes. I just can't figure out how to stop him from raising. You know, when I'm flying over him. I guess when he's moving, get in there quickly. Yeah, like when he's busy recovering from that. Walking and recovering. Yep. Fucking hell, got me a different colour. Oh, we're getting there, lads. Well. <laughs> oh my god, you wide bitch. He turned around and suddenly. It's like, imagine three squares side by side. And he was on not the first, not second, but the third square. And when he turned around, the other squares just flew out from that third square. So now instead of the third square being on the right, it's on the fucking left of him. Such a wide model. Holy shit, man. We had that. I'm fucking sure, man. Oh, nice sound, mate. Nice sound. Um, yeah, I think I, think I had that until the, um, well. He just, I, I underestimated him on fucking turn. He just turned around and expanded like two and a half times his normal length. Right, you bastard. You need to fucking die. Oh, that was almost a bad start. Getting greeter. Dixie, I should have been waiting for him to move. Like that. Oh, bad, bad, bad one, dude. I'm sorry. He might, he might raise it. You can just feel it sometimes. You can feel like he's been looking in the right direction for a bit too long without doing an attack. He's probably going to do one while I'm flying to the side. What? I disagree. Completely disagree with that. Oh, well, that's one hit less for me. 
It begins when you're doing the boss runs in, in any game and you start getting sloppy with them. Don't fucking push me down into the actual area. I was quite happy up there. If only Arima could fucking shoot down, fly above him, shoot down. I'm sure he can bend his neck. Get out, you're not aiming with that shit. Turn him. Oh, you've got to... Oh, okay. Ah. Ah, oh, you learned something. Even when he's doing the come over here kind of fucking zoom in strider bollocks. You, um... Fuck, what am I doing? He's, st he's still raising... What is going on now? He still raises his fucking scythe arm, so you got to be careful. Same rules as... When you're flying over him, you don't want that scythe coming up. Get out. No. There's nobody here to even hurt me. You're doing nothing, Dalsim. You're still in the inevitable. What a bastard! He needs to fucking die. At least it gives you an unlimited retries. That's quite fucking generous of it. Way too late. Whoa! Wow, he turned around and hit me from the other side. Whoa! What? Oh! Fuck! Uh, yeah, alright. Right. I, I would say. Right, now, now, it, now it definitely counts. Now it definitely counts. It's like, I gotta be fucking honest. I will fucking give it everything at last few attempts that I've still been wrecked. I don't know what else to give it here. There's just no. No room for her. I mean, first things first, let's not actually get hit on the way, so we can take a full free hit. Well, it's still going to work out the same, I think. Right. Absolutely everything, because this guy is making me look bad. This guy is making me look bad first boss, first, first proper boss, I guess. And he's being this much of a dick. I mean, he's cool. I've enjoyed his company. His arm is awesome. Oh, too late. I knew it. Wait a minute, I'm doing something f fundamentally wrong. I'm so scared at that farm. I'm taking it too slow. I need to be jumping at him. Like that. Now that was unfortunate. In fact, I don't think it makes much difference in the grand scheme of things, but I did learn a little bit. I'm jumping straight up horizontal and then I'm flying over him, and sometimes it's given him time to ready that farm. I would say how many skulls have you got, mate, but to be fair, <laughs> huge skull pile right next to him, eh? Don't fire it, here we go. Well, throw it. I don't think he's really firing the skull. Yeah, here we go. Tough game, man. I had no idea. Seriously, like I said, I heard it was a decent challenge, but I didn't... I didn't I didn't really believe it was a decent challenge, or a damn good challenge. Oh shit! I just can't quite figure out how to entice the Siphon properly. Shit. Oh, this that's not gonna work man, it's gonna hit me, yep. Like... If he's walking backwards, he can never scythe arm? Something like that? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. I actually think Mega Man X and Castlevania are fucking easier than this. Like, noticeably. Oh, it ruined me. Oh, cut. Well, it's only one hit less. Yes, yeah, seriously, man. Like,. I think this is this is much out of the Mega Man X so far. I mean, to be fair, it stems from Ghouls and Ghosts, but fuck, I didn't I didn't know it <laughs> it did that close. In fact, bosses in Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins aren't this hard. What backwards you fuck? Too late now. What fucking wrecked? Absolutely fucking destroyed. Man. I can f 
literal shit being kicked out of me. Scythed out, anyway. No way, I was- good, good hitboxes are perfect. I'm about to say that should not have hurt. Pixel perfect. But yeah, this- this fucking guy, man! It, it, it better not just be a sub-boss! No, it can't be, it can't be a sub-boss. That's- that sci farm is too grand. Well, how the fuck did I avoid that? Turn him. Well, you don't get much warning. If you're not in the right place, you're fucked. Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna. Maybe. I, I think, you know what? I'd have been safe in the air. All the way to the right of the screen, definitely, but... Uh, there we go. Burp, burp, This sounds pretty fun. I I'm starting to think, like, maybe I should bring out fucking G Gargoyle. Maybe he's got some kind of... It's just giving you that ability. Surely it wants you to use it, but... It seems like I've kind of got it. I mean, he says on like attempt number 15 or something like that, but if, like, fuck, this Dark Souls boss is easier than this. I'm not even, I'm not even fucking messing. Either I've got something very, very fucking wrong, or there's Dark Souls boss easier than this. I mean, the invulnerability on the ground gargoyle seems interesting, but I don't know if I'm timing it right. Yeah, no. Well, that fireball took so long to leave. He's gonna raise it, I knew it. Fuck. He's gonna raise it, he's gonna... I'm so scared of it, man. Don't do it. I don't know. I don't know. A greedy last hit. Oh my god, he... He's gonna... That is absolutely terrifying. I just don't know when it's coming. I've just got to assume I can get over him quick, and if I get it, or I didn't get it, fair enough. Like, I don't have any serious control over... Ooh. Some would say anything, but, you know... I just... I just don't seem to be able to see it when it's coming, like, if I don't get over him quite quick enough, I get it for it. I mean, obviously it goes into, like, the swipe stance, but it's brief. Very, very brief, like... I don't know, good luck reacting to it. Especially when you're already flying over him, it's... Maybe I could, instead of flying over him, bait it out of him? Am I missing something? Like, it seems like this... No, I don't want to be flying over in front of his face. Because he jumps up and does shit like that. I mean, should we fly in front of his face? Get him to jump? And then fly underneath him and do some shit? Oh, Let's try ground gar um, gargoyle again. Here we go. Because fuck knows. Hey, that's pretty. This is pretty right, does that? Get off me. I'm, I'm fucking charging over here. Whoa, he goes through the fucking skull pile as well. Well, it goes through fucking anything. You don't give a shit. Get off me! It doesn't seem to have any ability that would help out. I mean, I'll, t I'll try him again because I'm fucked on this run anyway. I'll try him again, but I don't see how I'm gonna be able to get. I mean, when he jumps at you, the ability to dash would be fucking awesome, but. I don't see how I'm going to get him to stop doing all his other shit. Like, how am I supposed to get through that? <laughs> I can't jump over him. Not with the ground gargoyle. I can't jump over him. I can't just really dash through him as such, or it doesn't seem like you can. Surpr well, okay, you still get it, even if you're charging. 
zombie was chomping me underground. So you can do some jump from the dash as well. And you can break it any time. Oh, okay. Right. So fair enough. Learn for a future. If there is going to be a fucking future, I'm not fucking sure at the moment. Yep. Yeah, I'll accept, I'm not so fucking sure. Nah, we got him. We got him. I think the original strategy was right. Keep pounding the motherfucker, jump over him, hope for the best in regards to, um... Him raising his fucking scythe hand at me. Raisin. Oh, he didn't. Oh, but he got me from the other side still. Fucking destroyed. Every idea I had then was wrong. Every single one. I think, like, as, as soon as he starts to move in a direction, that's when you need to jump. Because obviously he'll be in recovery frames and, you know, can't be doing an attack and moving at the same time. Uh, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the way! Oh, you dragged me down, you bastard fucking Dalsim zombie. Well, if I get it once enough, I think it makes no difference. I'm sure this guy always does two life on every hit. Seemed like he did one life one time, but I don't know what triggered that. What a dick! Seriously! Oh, I'm glad I did it. Fuck. Siphon's coming. I had a feeling they were gonna jump. Not much of a telegraph. Look at him fucking charge towards me. Well, didn't think we were gonna jump. Oh, the fucking turn! You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You see, you see exactly what I was talking about there with the turn, and suddenly you f you're running best that your fucking little gargoyly red armor legs can take you. And he turns around and suddenly fucking hits you. What a dick. No. It does work out the same. I'm still going to take three hits. I'm sorry, dudes. I'm trying to get him down as quick as possible. Well, not as quickly as possible. <laughs> you know what I mean, like... He is fucking tough, man. And he can't just hide in that corner, because he will swipe you out of it, yeah. Fuck! I was actually trying to recover it there and get over him instead. <laughs> right. Just trying out some different bits and bobs, man. Just trying out some different bits and bobs. See if anything sticks and works. So far, no, no. Nothing has stuck. Nothing has worked. Only the um, the original plan. Fucking hell. No hits done for you, eh? No hits done. Not this time, fuck it. What? Assholes. Mean fucking game. We'll play to it, don't fuck about. Get it fucking done. Capcom was not pissing around when they made um, Demon's Crest, it seems. Oh god, I knew it. I knew it was going to get me one way or the other. You know, about, say is he going to jump? Oh, fuck, I don't know, man. I think you've just you just got to play reactively. If you sense he's going to jump, like, if he walks, walks back and shit, you just got to play him reactive. He should not stay there. Oh. Not a bad attempt. I didn't, well, saying that, actually, yeah, I didn't change his colour, but still. I, I I think it's a combination of getting the fuck out of there at the right time, as well as playing reactively and trying to bait, if you put yourself in a position where if he does jump, that that is going to hit me. If he does jump, you can sort it out and get out of the way. Maybe try to bait close range scythes out. Maybe instead of... Maybe instead of running away, 
and change in sight. Maybe I should be only run away once I've baited out an attack. We'll try that. We'll try baiting him to attack. Because the same range that I'd bait him to attack will be the same range that I'd be able to get out of the way if he jumps. And if he does the um, taxi thing, we'll let him. You gotta be so fucking careful. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. You've gotta be so fucking careful if you're doing that though. You've gotta be damn fucking careful. I, um, I think the range, the range may be, um, maybe one and a half armors away from his siphon. And it seems like that will attract, will attract him into attacking, jumping, or calling for a taxi or whatever. No, it's not really a taxi call, is it? Get over here. Right, let's try that, let's try that. Damn this fuck. First set. And he likes to brick wall. Fucking still hit me! Oh. You didn't expect him to swipe. I had no idea we were going to do shit like that. I. I don't know, man. I just stopped. Did he, did he, I mean, that's the touchpad. Did he hit the touchpad? Or something else like that? He, he just stopped. Ah. Yeah, okay. I know what happened there. <laughs> I didn't get stuck on this one. I didn't get stuck. I don't think in Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghosts and Goblins, I don't think I got stuck for as long in that. On like one specific bit. No way. Certainly not super Certainly not super ghouls and ghosts. He actually saved me, I think, there. I jumped into that guy. Oh my god. He's going the fuck down now. Right. No more admiration of fucking second boss being boss. He's going fucking down. We've got some strategy and the rest of it's gonna have to be a reactive player. There is no fucking ultra strategy. I mean maybe there is, but don't you dare. You. He's gonna get me! Oh, of all things, a jump! I knew it! You see what I was supposed to do there? <laughs> what, what was the option? I could have stayed on the ground, waited for him to jump, at which point he walks in to move his side farm. Dead. Or I stay in the air so I can try to get to the other side of him and then he jumps. <laughs> I mean, I suspect there's probably ways of baiting him into doing one or the other, but you know, for a mere novice, somebody who's green to Demon's Crest, that is fucking hard. I mean, will he jump from in the air, but not on the ground? But as soon as you go to it, like, ground to air, it, uh, if that's the case, then you're baiting out a different attack. You're still fucked. I, I, I need to stick to what I did originally. Not originally, but, you know, early-ish, middle of the way. I just do shit like that, man. No, no, no. Fuck. And now he's going to bring his hand up as soon as my vulnerability is fucking... He's going to raise his hand. Or jump. Fuck, how did he just get out of there? Fucking should have stayed where I was. Oh, like I said, I apologise, dudes. If there is something obviously that I am missing, my apologies, because it, it really feels quite hard for the sale in the game, so I'm inclined to believe I am missing something very, very, like, let's call it obvious, because it might be, but I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Seems very, very tough for a first dude, and that's why. Fucking Dal Sim! And that's why I'm thinking I'm doing something wrong, but... I mean, if I go Ground Gargoyle, which might have been the alternative... Where do- how do you avoid shit? That's- that's my concern about going, um, Ground Gargoyle. Like, where would you dodge shit? But jumping over this guy is not pleasant. He's got it covered. That's a jump in it. I fucking knew it, man. I call it- I, did I not call it? I fucking did. 
talking what into it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I got hit going into the air and then I landed him in vulnerability fades and then I am dead. <laughs> I ain't had my ass kicked like this in years. Absolutely fucking years. I think the, the, the last time I was kicked this hard in my ass this early in the game was probably... Duh, were you... Was probably something like Nemesis in RE3. Holy shit. I mean, even if I kill this guy now, props. Fucking props to this dude, man. <laughs> Fucking Scythe Skeleton. Clearly Lord Scythe Skeleton. So if that's good, that, no, you see, that didn't even better jump out of him. Oh, you see, could have sworn he were going to jump or do something. He'll do it now. It's not going to miss it. Fucking did you, Strider, bitch. Fucking Capcom. <laughs> it's not bad enough he's got a, it's a massive skeleton with a cypher in arm. It's not bad enough that he covers so many angles so early in the game. No, they give him Strider fucking shit. I mean, to be fair, you know, the, the rushing strider attack is actually the, um, the least of... You fuck. Actually, the least of concerns. Don't even bother. It's his jump attack and his backhand. They're the two I'm fucking terrified of. Die this fucking time, you bastard. I mean, I say that, but I don't feel like I've gotten close except for once. Backhand. Knew it was coming. I'm not. I'm not timing it right when he's walking or something. That's the time you jump over him. I'm fucked. I was going to jump over his head, and then he backpedaled, and I'm like, I'm not going to get there in time, so I'll land. And then I knew we were just going to fucking be a bastard. I just knew it. Fuck. As I was trying to say, I knew he was going to hit me some way or form. None of that. This way safe? Is it fuck? Stone screen? Nice. I just, like I say, I don't know what else to try at this point. I don't think there's going to be any magic bullet that's going to fix it. Certainly not any that I'm going to figure out at this point. I just need to play him properly. Like, pl play him better, let's call it. There we go. Oh my god, you know, I couldn't have been more certain I was going to get over that. He's going to jump in it. What? I just... I just don't know, man. I really don't fucking know. Ah, oh, it'll be all right. Except I, I just don't know. I, I really, I really don't know how to stop the backhand or the. It's, it's just random. When I'm crossing him, as you may have seen, he's either gonna backhand or he's gonna jump. You don't get time to react to which one's gonna do. You know which one it's gonna do. If you're crossing him and he jumps, you're fucked. And if you're crossing him and he backhands you, you're fucked. And I ain't figured out how to stop the threat of that. I mean, I wait for him to start walking forward or start walking back and then try to get over him. Like, that had been an ideal chance to... Um... <sighs> you see, I'm fucked now because he's going to backhand me when I go over him. Yeah, I left it, left it too long. <laughs> Oh my fucking gods. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know. I am stunned by the difficulty of what I would probably consider the first boss, but no, it's not easy. The second boss. I'm stunned. Give me Ari free nemesis. 
Go on, do it. <laughs> the, first, the first couple of times you meet Nemesis, give me that. I'm sure I'll fare better. Oh my god. Well, this is something nice to begin. What would happen if I did this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it, it fucking widened. Oh, that was the deepest fucking sci farm he's hit me with. That was nasty. Don't put any damage scaling on that. It was clean. Very clean. So, a thought occurs. Are the rest of the boss is gonna be this fucking hard or harder. Holy shit. If so, it's gonna be a fun fucking game. Very hard, but very fun by the looks of it. We shall see. This guy's gotta go down. I swear to fucking god, he's gotta go down. One of the two of us. I think in the next few tries, either him or me, one of us is gonna die. I mean, to be fair, he already died, and for me, it's gonna be an internal death, but... I think I'm out over here a bit. Is it when he backpedals when he's going for something? Oh, for fuck's sake. It is, isn't it? It fucking is! Oh, wait a minute, no. He, he walked forward, walked forward, walked forward, and then attacked. But maybe if I'm not within, like, swiping kind of range... Well, no. See, you can't do that. It's not Contra or Castlevania. You can't just drop through floors. Anyway. I thought I'd figured out something for a sec there where, um... If he backpedals, that's when he's going to attack. However... I just saw him disobey that rule. But maybe it's because I was in close proximity and it... It was like, well, overwrite that shit and just attack him. That could be the case. We shall see. Either way, when I'm approaching to fly over him... Might have something there. No, he walked forward twice, but I was in range, to be fair. See, backpedaling could do something. Backpedal... No. Fucking took the jump too steep, didn't I? Or too shallow? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, it was wrong. I'm not figured out a really fast fucking path over here. I mean, this seems to be it. Just stay on the middle levels. And then straight flight over here, innit? Yep. Ah, there we go. Yep, stay on middle level. I would say I hope I don't beat him now that I figured out a faster way to get here, but actually... I, I will take beating him. That will be fine. You look. Right, you think you'd be safe there, but no guarantees. Quickly now. Fuck. Oh, he's gonna turn and do some. No, he's not. Well, that was unfortunate. He was quite on the ball, though. So quick for a slow guy, you know. Whoa, now you see that was dangerous. What I just did. Please don't jump. Oh well, you know, fair enough. I'm starting to get the feel a little bit. I'm starting to get the feel. I, I know you could say seriously after like half an hour plus of trying that guy, you're just now getting the feel. Yeah, it's fucking hard. <laughs> the guy is an absolute boss. Like of all the times that you meet a boss and you go, oh my god, you were not a boss. I don't care what fucking test you took to get your boss diploma, it was bollocks. You're not a boss. This guy has a fucking degree. Straight up fucking PhD in fucking bossing. Shit tons of respect. For a boss that early in the game, man, shit tons of respect. Good stuff.
Looks like fucking Dark Souls easy in this first hour. That was too late, I believe. Oh, no. oh well, you know, I jumped. Whoops. This was a bad idea as well, actually. God, it's just fucking... Grasshopper in the shit out of me. Better not jump again. Fucking did. That's exactly what he did. He jumped again. Should have done that. He's gonna turn and jump, maybe. Nope. It's not even stupid. He doesn't even run right to you. That's my opportunity. I was a little bit slower there, and now he may jump on me. No. That was slow. He's just gonna turn and jump. No, he didn't. It's not. You see what I mean? I can't call this shit. I'm a trying, dudes. I'm a trying. <gasps> nice! Why am I so fucking happy about that? Why have I got, like, Dark Souls fucking appreciation for beating the boss and, like, satisfaction out of it? Like, yeah, I fucking beat it. It took me half an hour, 40 minutes, but I fucking did it. It's fucking Demon's Crest. It is no fuck. Well, holy fucking shit, dudes. That... I... I already alert. I was saying before, man, I heard it was a fucking de a good challenge, decent fucking difficulty, but... Liars! It's fucking well hard. <laughs> or I found it in the first hour anyway, my god.